Hello everybody, I'm here to show you the functionality of my weld analysis tool here. Uh, the inputs are shown here in orange. What this tool does is it allows us to calculate the stress in um, welds are experiencing in plane loads. Um, so for our weld identifier here, this is what's going to show at the top of our design report. So I'm just going to put weld group 1 for now. For our weld profile, we have six different options, and you'll see that the diagram here on the right will update based on our inputs. We have single welds, parallel, rectangular, circular, L-shaped, and C-shaped. For our example today, we're going to go with rectangular. Right away, we see our inputs that are needed here in terms of the height of the weld group, the width, and then our loads, these show the positive directions for loads. If our loads were acting in the opposite direction of these, they would be input as negative values in our spreadsheet. So today for the width of, or the height of our profile, I'm just going to put 4 inches, 3 inches for the width. The x direction, I'll put 3 kips, 5 kips in the y, maybe 20 kip inches for our moment. Um, we can put choose our electrode. We have three different options, E60, E70, and E80. I'm going to go with the most conservative option, which is E60. Right away, we see that we can see what the minimum weld leg size would be for a passing weld. And this is an AISC check that's happening in the background. Um, so for this one, our minimum uh, weld leg size is going to be 8th inch. If I input, for example, 16th inch, you'll see that we get a fail here. Um, for this example, we'll go with 3 sixteenths, and we get some immediate results here on the right side of our dashboard. Now what we can see is uh, we have other tabs here. We have a summary tab, and this is something that uh, is formatted to print. This is not showing all the math, but it's something that maybe you could provide a project manager or something for a quick update on a weld. And here that is. Going back to our spreadsheet, um, we also have a more detailed report. Now down here, based on whatever profile we chose, we have a detailed report. Ours is rectangular, so we'll go to rectangular. And this one is also formatted to print and shows all the math behind the check. Um, so this is something that you could include in a design report, and here that is. So that's our weld tool. If you are interested in picking this up, please look at the description. We'll provide a link uh, to where you can grab it. Thank you for listening.